Welcome back to TacosTheGeeks.com Reviews. Justin here, back with more manga reviews. And today we're going to be reviewing the manga Drip Drip from Viz Media, which was published and released on October 18th. So as always, they give you a brief synopsis. So here we go. Whenever Mako comes in contact with something she perceives as dirty, she gets a massive nosebleed. How can she find a loving partner and commit to a mean meaningful, intimate relationship when just touching another person makes her bleed out, especially when most of the men she meets are sleazy creeps? Her first challenge might to be learning to love herself. Plus, there's also a short story including Santa Claus, as you've never seen him before, and that is the synopsis of it. And one thing I really did like about Drip Drip is kind of its commentary here. Um, this first of all, I have to say this out right from the back is that this manga does con uh, contain mature themes and mature subject matter and mature imagery. So this, I will not recommend this for the little ones to read for a manga. This is MA for a reason. Now, this, as the synopsis says, this follows a 29-year-old woman who has this kind of condition that whenever she sees something dirty or things that she perceives as dirty that she physically touches, she starts to have this massive nosebleed. And it really starts to affect her uh, love life because the men that she's meeting, she already perceives either as sleazy or dirty. So it's hard for her to date when your nose is constantly bleeding. And sometimes you're literally bleeding on the guys that you're on a date with because it's not like just her nose is just dripping, dripping, like, you know, like a regular nosebleed where she just has to get a paper and go, I mean, a tissue and just go like this. No, her nose gushes. Like, there's one panel in this that I was just like, wow. She literally just gushes blood all over this guy. And you're like, damn. And, you know, one thing I really did like is that it does do a little bit of a deep dive on her character of why she kind of sees, why she kind of feels this way and, you know, things kind of change for the little bit for the better without spoilers is when she meets a guy who's actually tolerating her little bleeding issue, but it doesn't really end up kind of being the case. And it goes into, uh, I'm not saying a little bit of the cliche love story here. Um, and she meets someone, you know, it takes somebody from the past not to give things away, but there's something in her past that resurfaces in the present. And that's how I will, I will dwell. That's it when it comes to more of the story. I, I like to keep our reviews vague when it comes to story here. Cause I like people to experience things for themselves. But I will have to say the concept really did work for me. I like the concept of this because it kind of gives that window for cross-examination character study of there's so many ways they can play with this. And, how they did it, I thought it was pretty entertaining to to see. You know, you know, is it wasn't her fault the way she turns out, and you know, it, it goes a little bit more deeper onto these things of being unclean and things that happened in her childhood, and I thought that was a really good deep character study of why things happened the way they were. I thought it was pretty good. And I had to say this as well. Um, this is MA for a reason. I'm re re reiterate that this is MA. This does contain mature themes, mature um, mature imagery, and mature language. So definitely not recommended for the little ones. And I thought it was pretty good. And then, you know, they have a little short story called White Beard and Boobs. And this story is basically about a prostitute with an older man at a hotel. And he's eating junk food and you know he's working on his laptop and he claims to be Santa Claus and explains you know and the prostitute is basically trying to do some role play with him and it ends up being like her him trying to prove to her that he is actually Santa Claus and it's actually funny it's actually pretty it's pretty funny um it has some really good concepts Execution from time to time, uh, it, it kind of falls a little bit flat, but it's still an enjoyable read. So I'm going to recommend this one, Drip Drip. If you did read Drip Drip, 
comment below. Let me know what did you think about it. Did you like the concept? Did you like Manko as a character? Did you like that backstory regarding her and her mother and that theme of being unclean and things of that nature? So leave a comment below. Let me know. This is Justin from Intoxicantgeeks.com saying later days. We'll catch you in the next review. Peace.